Hello, friends. Welcome back. Uh, so I'm talking about men of quick understanding. We need men who understand true African history, our true African history, not the colonized history they gave to us. We need men who understand our African culture, who understand our African power, who understand our human life and the relationship is very important. We need men who understand what is family and marriage. Not all this crap they have, they have been teaching us in schools, in religion center. No, we're supposed to know better. We're supposed to understand that life is more important than whatever we're chasing in this life. Do you understand? Do you know yourself? You're supposed to know yourself. You are not just here to live. Just to live and die. You are here to make impact. You are here to create things. You are God that exists. The God that tell you in your Bible, in your Quran, in your Torah, or whatever religious book you have, they say it's invisible because it does not exist. If that God exists, you will know that God. You understand that God. Why can't you try to understand the God you believe in? You say you cannot understand everything. Who said that? It is the wicked one that can say such thing. As I said earlier, we don't need men of war. We don't need men of authority. We don't need men of religion. We don't need men of fear. We don't need men of worry. We don't need men of comparison. We don't need men of, men of competition. We don't need men of covetousness. We don't need men of substance. All we need is men of, underst of a quick understanding. Men that understand things, men that have the ability to learn, judge, and make wise quality decisions for the people. Enough is enough for all this suffering in the world. Understanding is intelligence. When you have that, when you are intelligent, you have the ability to acquire, understand, and, and, and use knowledge. That's what we need. You, we have to you know, you have to be able to have knowledge of, of familiarity with certain thing, particular thing. Don't be jack of all trade, but master of none. That it may be one, it may be fixing radio. No, just do that. In my village, I know of a guy. He's of my, uh, he's of the um, age grade with me. You know, this guy did not go to any school or any uh, anybody trained him. He was not an apprentice to anybody to know how to fix radio, to know how to wire the house, elect elect electricity and the electronics. This guy know all this without going to any school. If you're from my village, you know who I'm talking about. We have that ability, all those uh, extra sensoria, uh, there's a voice telling me, no, you are the God. You have all that ability. No God created you, your parents gave back to you. You were not created by any invisible God. That's why there's no death for that. You have death for your birthday, but there's no death for your creation. But you believe you, are, you were created. But the one everybody know, even the goat in your house, the, ca the mosquitoes, the flies in your house, know that you are born. You are not created. But you said, oh, you are created. No. Do you understand yourself? Do you know yourself? Religion makes you so confused. You claim to be a Christian or you claim to believe in God. Yet you said, I don't know my purpose for living. And they keep starting money from you. You go, man of God, pray for me. I want to know my purpose in life. And they begin to pray. And they begin to tell you, yeah, I see. I see this. It tell you your purpose. You don't need any man to tell you your purpose in life since you believe in God and God created you. Why can't you talk to that God directly? Why can't that God talk to you? He said, call to me. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. God is able to teach you. Why are you going to a pastor? God is able to teach you. Why are you going to school? God is able to teach you. Why are you limiting yourself to one man you call your mentor or whatever? Since you believe in God. But the day you understand that you are born with that brain, you are, you are born with that ability to acquire knowledge, to understand things and make wise decisions. You have that ability to, to know something to, to judge things, to make decisions.
you have that ability in you. No one can take it from you. No demon can take it from you. No God can take it from you. Because you are the one that have it. It is not a gift. It is inbuilt. It is born. It is inborn. You came with it. You are born with it. Men of understanding, they list things. They learn and they live well. They are not just here, you know, making noise or just living. Okay, let's just live. Maybe any day we die, that's it. No, they want to make impact. You call them inventors. You call them great things. People, they, you have to understand to, something to invent it. You cannot just wake up and say, okay, I want to invent, blah, blah, you invent something. No, you must have good understanding of that. So that's what we need. You have to start listening, learning, and living well for our common good. We need men of quick understanding, not men of quick surrendering. Okay, okay, for peace sake, okay. No. It's in your Bible, even what I'm talking about. The day I receive, uh, I mean, I, re I receive that knowledge, like something must be going on, you know. I am not ordinary like that. I, I was there, Piam! I see, Piam, I, I, I see the sign under it, Akumen. What, I don't, I never knew what Akumen was before that time, but I see, I, I went, I do some research, I begin to search at the meaning of that word. I said, quick understanding. Quick understanding. We need to have that quick understanding so that people will stop, you know, misleading us. I would have still remained a Christian today if I, I don't have that quick understanding. That's, I don't judge what I hear. I don't learn from it. I know I just believe, okay, I'm believing. I will make it. No, I keep judging. I keep, because when you have quick understanding, you have wisdom and understanding. You have knowledge and love of truth. Then you will, you will be learning and adjusting. I keep adjusting. I, uh, my parents bomb, uh, took me in Anglican ch to Anglican Church, right? I adjusted from Anglican Church to, boom, to Pentecostals, Deeper Life and all that, Winners, you know, uh, Redeem, you know. I, I adjusted. When I said, no, this is not the way it's supposed to be. I read the Bible, I adjusted. I keep going on, I keep going. I adjusted, you know, you remember when I was speaking against Titan? I was still a Christian that time. But I said, no, according to the Bible, Titan is not money, you know, we're not supposed to tithe, you know. So from there, I start talking about Jesus is not God. Jesus is the Son of God. Because when, when you read your Bible, you find that Jesus never said he's God. All right, at least there's a place he said he's Son of God, all right. Um, and son of man. Then from there, I was, you know, Trinity, nah. Trinity is not what it's supposed to be. God cannot be three. It's supposed to be one. And um, you can say three person and one God and all that. I, I defended all this thing before. I begin to uh, judge what I have been preaching, what I have been believing. I, I did not go and say, okay, I don't want to offend my parents. I don't want to offend my friends. No, of course, I lost many contacts, many friends because of my adjustment. The more you learn, you should adjust. Knowing, the, knowing something without using knowledge of it is crap. You say you understand something, you judge something, you learn something, and you don't use it. It's nonsense. Even in any field you are in, when you stop using whatever knowledge you acquire in school, you see you lag behind. You you may need your your, the, um, your your classmates maybe to teach you again. You say, "Oh, remind me how do you how how do we used to do this?" Or you go back to your textbook again, trying to refresh your memories because it has been lying dormant. But if you keep using it, you know practice made perfect. You can even close your eyes and do that because you have good understanding of it. You have quick understanding. You are learning and adjusting. When you find out the truth, do you remain in lie? No. So why are you moved by what people are saying? You say They say, oh, you used to preach Jesus. Now you are speaking against Jesus. What has God done to you? You are bitter. Excuse me. You are talking about God and Jesus. And you say they are almighty. Why are you asking me, you, when you claim to be mortal, what, ha, what have God done to, uh, uh, to me? 
you are not God. Did God tell you that I have done anything to him? Or because I tell you that God does not exist, which is the truth. And you say, no, you are praying that one day I will preach Jesus. You don't know me. That was yesterday. I preached Jesus yesterday. I don't preach Jesus anymore. I believe God yesterday. I don't believe God anymore. Why? Because I know the truth now. So I believe facts. I don't believe faith. I believe truth. I don't believe belief. No. So I have the knowledge of what I'm saying, which you also can verify. You say you believe prayer, you'll be praying. Tell me one thing prayer has done for you, nothing. Prayer has not solved any of your problem. When you finish praying, you have to go and beg that person for assistance. You have to go and beg that person to do something for you. You have to go and walk. Prayer does not work, and it never solve your problem. He says it's a lie. You call me name, but your life is evidence that I'm true. I'm saying the truth. If prayers solve your problem, you won't be going to anywhere for anything, even for money. You will pray, money will come. God is able to give you money. Drop it. You you watch uh, all these some of uh, African movies or Nigerian movies. They they tell you like people that engage in money rituals, right? They say they, they did what they asked them to do. You see money on top of their bed, or in their cupboard, or places. If they can do that, God can do better. Yes, your God can give you money without you going to work for enough. Prayer is supposed to be work. He said, faith without work is there. So you prayed. You does work. Prayer is work. When you pray, you are working. So you work. When you pray, you work. So God supposed to provide for you. He's supposed to. But can he do that? No. Has he done that? No. Can he do that? I doubt it. But you believe he can. And I've been deceiving you with that. God is able to do this. God is able to do that. Let it happen. He cannot. So I want you to wake up. It's not any God that is able to make you of quick understanding. No, you. You have to begin to learn. Listen, learn, judge, make decision. Adjust. Keep learning and adjusting. Keep learning and adjust. I don't know the whole truth yet, but I know the truth. Do say, I, I say no? Truth is, you know, is a uh, truth is constant. It keep going. It keep going. It keep going. The more we seek, the more we know, and the more we spread. The more we know, the more we spread. The more we know. We, Keep adjusting. Don't settle for in that lie because you are afraid of what people will say or what they will call you. What will they call you when you die? You will still die. So they will keep on saying their shit. But why not you doing your shit? Do your thing. They can't stop you. You are, you are the only one that can stop yourself. When you have good understanding of yourself, when you have good understanding of what you are doing, you are unstoppable. So this is what I want to share with us. I want you to know yourself, understand who you are. You are human. You are not spiritual being. You are not godly. You are human. Live human. Stop trying to live godly. Those that live gov godly are delusional. They don't know what they are doing. You have heard me, and you can verify what I said. We need men of quick, good understanding. Men that can acquire knowledge, understand what they learn, and use the knowledge for our common good. Thank you for listening, and thank you for sharing. Peace. Love you all.